Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today is Grade 6, Unit 2, Lesson 11, Practice Problems Review. Question 1. Complete the table to show the amounts of yellow and red paint needed for different sized batches of the same shade of orange paint. Explain how you know that these amounts of yellow paint and red paint will make the same shade of orange as the mixture in the first row of the table. Well, if we multiply by the same number for this 5 in this 6. For this row, if we multiply by, say, 2, that leaves us with 10 and 12. Well, 5 to 6 is the same thing as 10 to 12. If for the next row, I multiplied by 3 from the original, that would leave me with 15 and 18. And that is the same thing as 5 to 6 and 10 to 12 as well. Likewise, if I were to multiply by 4, that would leave me 5 times 4 is 20, 6 times 4 is 24, and just adding to this ratio train here, 20 over 24 is equivalent to all of those as well. Question 2. A car travels at a constant speed showed on the double number line. How far does the car travel in 14 hours? Explain or show your reasoning. Well, if it's traveling 70 kilometers in one hour, we can take a look and see, well, what about those 14 hours? How many kilometers is that going to be? Well, 1 multiplied by 14 is 14. And if I take 7 and multiply it by 14, we end up with 90, or 980, excuse me, kilometers. 70 times 14 is 980 kilometers in those 14 hours. Continuing on. Question 3. The olive trees in an orchard produce 3,000 pounds of olives a year. It takes 20 pounds of olives to make 3 liters of olive oil. How many liters of olive oil can this orchard produce in a year? If you get stuck, consider using the table. Well, we can ask ourselves, how do we get from 20 to 100? We would multiply by 5. So 3 times 5 gets us 15. Then we can ask ourselves, how do we get from 100 to 3,000? Well, if you were to take 3,000 and divide it by 100, you would get multiplying by 30. 100 times 30 is 3,000. So if I take 15 and multiply it by 30, we get 450 liters of olive oil. Question 4. At school recess, there needs to be a ratio of 2 adults for every 24 children on the playground. The double number line represents the number of adults and children on the playground at recess. A. Label each remaining tick mark with its value. We go from 0 to 2, so the top number line for adults is counting by 2's. So 0, 2, 4, 6, and then 8. The bottom number line is counting by 24 as we go from 0 to 24. So 0, 24, 48, 72, then 96. How many adults are needed? With 72 children? How about 6? And it said circle your answer on the number, double number line, so we'll circle the box. I don't know. <laughs> Let's keep going. Question number 5. While playing basketball, Jada's heart rate goes up to 160 beats per minute. While jogging, her heart beats 25 times in 10 seconds. Assuming her heart beats at a constant rate while jogging, which of these activities resulted in a higher heart rate? 
explain your reasoning. A couple different ways to go about this. One way is to start with this 160 beats per minute idea. Now, each minute is 60 seconds. One minute is 60 seconds. Well, can I get this down to 10 seconds? Sure. If I take 60 and divide it by 6, that's 10 seconds. So if I take 160 and divide it by 6, this is 26 and 2 thirds beats in those 10 seconds. So if we were to compare the basketball here of 200, or I'm sorry, 26 and 2 thirds beats per 10 seconds with the 25 beats in 10 seconds while jogging, it appears that the basketball had the higher heart rate. Now what if we wanted to try it going the other way? If we have 25 beats in 10 seconds, what if I try to get that to 60 seconds? Well, in this case, it's multiplying by 6 to get to 60 seconds, because 60 seconds, again, is the 1 minute. And when I take 25 times 6, we get 150 beats in the 60 seconds. That was the, not job, jogging. There we go. And comparing that to the 160 beats in 60 seconds for basketball, once again, basketball does show the higher heart rate, whether you simplified it or increase it. Continuing on to question six. A shopper bought the following items at the farmer's market. Six ears of corn for $1.80. What was the cost per ear? Well, if we take a look at $1.80 for six ears of corn, we want to get this to be equivalent to cost per ear. We need to divide 6 by 6 to get to 1 ear. So if we divide $1.80 by 6, we're going to get 30 cents per ear of corn. 12 apples cost $2.88. What is the cost per apple? Well, $2.88 for 12 apples, and we want to find our cost per one apple. So if I divide the 12 apples by 12, and the $2.88 by 12, we get a cost of 24 cents per one apple. Five tomatoes, or tomatoes, or potatoes, or potatoes, anyways. Five tomatoes cost $3.10. What is the cost per tomato? If you like to... Probably can't sing much more than that or I'll get a copyright violation. Anywho, one tomato. If I could spell tomato. T-O-M-A-T-O. -T -O. If we divide by five and then divide the $3.10 by five, we will end up with 62 cents for the one tomato. And that is it for this lesson, this homework practice problems review on grade six, unit two, lesson 11. Good luck.